better than you did last night. Oh, yeah, well, actually, Dr. I've been really lucky. Just a bit of smoke inhalation, that's all. Thank heaven for that. Yeah. Well, you know, it says to him, listen, the amount of ciggies I've got through, a bit of smoke ain't gonna see me off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I'm just waiting for the all clear now. So you can come home? Home. To the cafe with, with us? I just don't think you'd want me there. Of course we do. I'm so sorry, I didn't believe you. I don't know what I was thinking. No, no, I don't blame you, not for one minute. This is all Tracy's fault. Oh, I'm so sorry. No, oh. <laughs> the fire officer was around earlier looking for you. Stick the kettle on, Mum. Yeah, I'll make another pot. Uh, I wonder how Becky is. Well, why should you care? Tracy! Well, why should anyone care after what she's done? Or do you think we should send her a basket of fruit? Uh, look, she'll be fine. She always is. Flipping bum could drop and there'll be her and the cockroaches left. <laughs> Doesn't Tabby want any breakfast? Uh, cannot tear her away from her presence. Well, I think we should all go out for a nice, healthy Boxing Day walk later on. Or we could go the traditional route and get hammered next door. Um, I've got plans. Like what? Like going into town and looking for engagement rings. Oh, really? Mm. I do hope Becky's all right. Dad, will you stop going on about her? Steve's trying to be romantic. Yeah. Beans and toast. Thank you. Oh, roses, <laughs> that's sweet. Yeah. Thank you. Well, it's not every day you little stick married. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Yeah. I can't believe you've done this for us. And you've not gone to the sales with Sal. Uh, have you ever been shopping with my mother? Complaining about the music and victimising sale assistants. I can't deal with the stress. Here we go, Brooks Fizz. Uh -huh. uh, Rosa, I am not drinking this at this time of the morning. It is non-alcoholic. I know what a lightweight you are. You OK? Yeah, of course I'm just thinking about all the stuff we've got to do. Right, get that down, yeah. And then we're going to turn this place into the lesbian hen party venue to end all lesbian hen party venues. Rosa, how many lesbian hen party venues have you seen? Uh, I've got a vivid imagination. <laughs> I actually think she's more excited about this wedding than we are. Um, not possible. <laughs> <laughs> what did you get up to last night? Nothing much. Listen, I can't do my shift later. Oh, here we go. I'm going to the hen party. Shan asked me to be a bridesmaid for the wedding. And you agreed? Why wouldn't I? Because of this stupid crush Sophie's had on you. Oh, she told you that. And you've agreed to be their bridesmaid. Are you deliberately out to cause trouble? Of course not. Shan asked me what could I say no. I'll just turn up, look pretty and do my bit. Stop stressing. Been that busy this Christmas, I haven't even had time to open the rest of my Christmas cards. Who sends Christmas cards these days? Oh, no friends, family. Mm. Nice people. Mm. Hang over making you knack, is it? Oi, and it's goodwill to all men, and that includes the pair of you. Ah, oh, it's from me, Auntie Vi. Do you know, she never forgets a Christmas card or a birthday card. Damn it, she's still alive. Well, you know she is. We went to see her in the hole last summer. No, we went to see her. Eva had other plans, remember? Hundred quid? Oh, that is way too much. Right, that is going in the Rovers deposit fund. How much have you got so far? A couple of grand. No chance. Why are you so negative about everything? I'm not negative. I'm just saying. And I am saying, whatever happens, we are buying this place. First thing in the new year, we're going to the bank and there's going to be some belt tightening round here. You want to get him on the wagon? You'd have your deposit in no time. Oh, oh how about we start with you paying rent, say, 60 quid a week? Sorry, what? That's a bargain for bed and board. Well, you are working full time now, love. <laughs> Take his side, as per. Where are you going? Out. Oh. What? Well, we're serious about buying this pub. Every penny counts. A name's Rebecca MacDonald. I don't know what ward she's on. She's... Well... <laughs> it's all right, actually. I've just seen her. OK, yes, thank you. Bye. Happy now? Oh, ah, yeah. Never more chipper than when I've been dragged from a burning building. It was an accident, Steve. Fire Brigade report confirms that. She could have died. Oh, what, like our twins? 
I never pushed Tracy. She is lying, and I am going to prove that. Not this time. You of all people know that Tracy will say what suits to get what she wants. You're a fool. <clears throat> Sorry for crushing your box and leave cows doing my heading. Is it all right if Fever stays for lunch? Yeah, fine, but I'd like some help, please. Well, I'm just finishing watching this. And I've just got a seat of this toy for Max. Well, maybe you'd like to peel some potatoes. Uh, sorry, I wouldn't know where to start. Do you want a glass of wine? Oh, yes, please. Ooh, what have you got there, Max? My Christmas present. Oh, do you mind fixing this for Max? Just want to phone the hospital, check on Becky. Oh, she's fine, I've just seen her. Ryan Haley have just brought her back. Are oh, you joking? Max, I'm just going to go check on Auntie Becky, OK? I won't be long. Mm. What's that for? Saving me, sis. I'll never forget it. And we're all very proud of him. So, who wants to peel some carrots? Uh, I've got a guest. Fine. Well, if nobody can be bothered, I'm down in tools. And I'm going to start on my new Stephen King. Ha! But we always open on Boxing Day. Why you should take it upon yourself? If you think that I am holding the fort here on Boxing Day on my own, you've got another thing coming. Roy, after everything that's happened, why don't we just enjoy a day off, eh? There is a ham cooking in the oven, my signature dish, creamed spinach with parmesan. Hayley, if you would be so kind as to put these two tables together, I will go and fetch your good tablecloth. Come. Sorry for ruining your Christmas, guys. No, no, not at all. It... Just when my mother tries to ride roughshod over my business. Roy, can you not see what she's doing? You don't magic up a meal like this in five minutes. She wanted to welcome Becky home. She could have just said welcome home, though, couldn't she, Royston? Yes. Oh, hello. <laughs> all right, all right, Kelly, I'm fine, honestly. I'm indestructible, me. I haven't said hello to Max. I don't know what I would have done. Oh, you don't need to, do you? Because, like I said, I'm totally fine. Oh, I'm going to use the other one. I suppose you'll be wanting your dinner here as well. Well, I would like that, actually, if that's okay with you. It'll have to be, I suppose. Right, you can lay the tables and do it nicely. Becky, get that bottle open. A woman could die of thirst round here. Yes! <laughs> do you know, I couldn't get Max on his bike. Just kept going round and round in circles. Mm, I know the feeling. But you're going to finish those potatoes. What about these two? These aren't done all. Right. That's it. David, you finish the veg. Nick, you clear the table. And Eva, would you go over to Dev's, please? Now, come on, Eva's a guest. A guest implies someone who's been invited. She just turned up, sat on her backside and drank all me wine. <sighs> I think I should go. There where you are. You're embarrassing yourself, Mother. No. I'm embarrassing you. So, hero or not, if you and Madam want to eat, I suggest you pull your finger out. I've got enough of this. Yeah, that makes two of us. Fight! Fight! No, fight. no, no, you're a, no more fighting. That's all that seems to happen round here. You know, there's too many of us in this house. It's time I moved out. Come on, let's go to the bistro. I thought you weren't working till later. Thanks for the wine. Well, result. At least now Max will get his bedroom. Ow! That hurt, that! Yeah, well, shut up! And thank you, lucky stars, you were too tight to buy me the hard back. I brought around that new game I got for Crimbo. Oh, oh nice. Oh, Joseph is such a lovely name, and it always remind of us where he was born. I knew a bloke called Jesus once. He worked at the kennels. Well, I think he was Mexican or something. It's a whole different ball game over there. Oh, I can't quite take it all in, you know. This little one born safe and sound. Ah, uh, Gary and Izzy back together. Yeah, finally. I'm worth the wait. Mm. Even Faye's let Owen take her into town to change a couple of her prizes. It's been a really wonderful Christmas. So I was thinking, how about me and Kirk take the chest to the pub? Wet the baby's head on that. No, he's not old enough. Hey, if he's old enough to have a baby, he's old enough to have a pint. Yeah, it's tradition. Uh, it's sexist rubbish. Exactly, our kid is the one who did all the hard work. If anyone's going out, it's us girls. Hey, yeah, we could go out for a meal or to the pictures of summer. Ah, uh, I don't know. No, you should go. You deserve it. Me and the lads will look after Joseph. Really? Yeah. I need to get used to it sometime, don't I? Oh, lads, will you be all right looking after my hope and all? Yeah, of course. I've looked after Liam loads. Oh, I. Piece of cake. I'm all right, sir. I've just had a mince pie. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but it looks like it's you boys left holding the babies. So, there you go. Oh. Good to you, Daddy. 
Have you got him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Babe, that's a wicked banner. Where'd you get that from? This website. There's all the stuff. Okay, weddings, aren't there? Yeah, believe it or not, the cabin didn't have much of a range. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'll get that and I'll leave those to dry. Okay. Oi. Hey, baby. I don't think Zebra's really my thing, do you? <laughs> all right, party girls. Are we all ready for the big hen? We'll get in there. Do you um, need a hand with that? Uh, no, I'm done. Thank you. So, are you nervous? No, we've just got loads to do, haven't we, Sean? I couldn't do it. Commit like this. Yeah, that's because you're a tart. <laughs> Ex tart. <laughs> Thank you. I've got a boyfriend. Hey, come on, Sean, let's go upstairs. I want to see you in your draft. Okay. <laughs> but Dad's still on phone back. Maybe he's sleeping off a hangover or something, eh? Mm. You're not going to get all drama queeny again about me being a bridesmaid, are you? Believe it or not, Amber, the world does not revolve around you. OK, tomorrow is about me and Sean. Well, as long as you're sure about that. Look, if you're going to have to be here, then use some of that hot air to blow some of them up. Where are you going? Like I said, we've got loads to do. Um, cos, of course, you can imagine how busy I am round here. <laughs> oh, yes. International call. Oh, leave yes, a royal. Yes, Drop very nice, she's thank you, Milton. Yes, we had some of the other local business leaders around for lunch yesterday. <laughs> it's something we like to do. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes, I have to do quite Hey, babe. Lot. What no, about well, lunch? Oh, no, I couldn't yes. get another thing. I'm stuffed. No, yeah, but I'm not. You know, Mum's had a massive row with Nick and she's down tools. All right, chill out. I had to come and see my big sis, didn't I? No. No, just family today. Plus one or two waifs and strays who need the charity at this time of year. I am sorry about my mother. Oh, forget it. You should have met us. <laughs> yes. About you, I've been thinking. And what else did you do? All these stunts, burning oh. buildings, shouting the odds. Oh, no. Just make sure like and a mental you... case. Oh, so as you? Yeah, who did I get it off? No. You know you never oh. pushed Tracy. Oh, yeah, we all didn't know you didn't push Tracy. Lovely. And if you had a done, why didn't you go to the police? No. Yeah, exactly. No, She'd love to yes. see you banged up. Oh, yes, I have. So how do I, I claim my name, then? At your age, and don't let the cow get to you. No. Otherwise, it just makes you look guilty as oh, hell. I have been well, when I've got time. <laughs> Gone back to sleep. Yeah. Joseph's just gone off too. Oh, nice one. All right, boys, let's burn some rubber. Yep. So ah, Donald, this babysitting lark, innit? Here we go. Bye, mate. Sixty quid a week doesn't even get you a student flat share. Don't pay you that badly, do I? No, but that's how much Carl said I should be paying at the pub. So that's what you're round about. Yeah, I so need to get out of there. It's not about sharing with strangers, though, is it? I mean, students, always half cook, babs down the side of the sofa. How about someone you know? Better value for money if there's two of you. <laughs> well, we just have a quick one in here and then we'll get the quarter two bus, yeah? Yeah, yeah cool. I'll uh, deal with this. What can I get you? Um. Are you supposed to be getting ready for your end night? Well, Rose is in party queen mode, so I've just been for a walk to clear my head. So the long face is now to do with Amber being bridesmaid. Oh, she told you then, this morning. That's actually why I've come in. Um, Sunita, so you're going to have to talk to her, you know, and get her to pull out. As if she'd listen to me. Look, if her being bridesmaid bothers you that much, if you're still hung up on her... I am not hung up on her, OK? I just can't stand there in the middle of the church Pledging all to shine, and she stood there looking at me all snide. Sophie, if you're having any doubts, at I am not having doubts, okay, Sunita. I love Shan and I am marrying her, but I just can't have her there, so please, we just talk to her. Please, Sunita, for me. Oh, 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 Rah, 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 rah. Give it a rest, eh, Kirk? Why are you singing about a bad romance to a baby? Why am I wiping baby sick off my top on Boxing Day? Hey, wait, I think he's gone off. So was Hope. Finally. You know, I was thinking, instead of handing out condoms in schools, 
This is just short film of this afternoon. Birth rates have dropped like a stone. I've been trying to phone you. I can't stay long, we're busy. Yep, so are we. Eva, I don't want to fall out with you over this. No, it did seem to bother you this morning. We're only talking about a bit of rent. Yeah. Well, it doesn't matter anymore, cos me and Nick are moving in together. Oh. Now, if you don't mind, like I said, we're busy. Come and have a look at this flat that I found. Just a clean gate, absolutely gorgeous. Right, well, we've missed the afternoon showing, so if you want to see that film, you know, we better get gone. I'm really comfy, Saty. I've got my shoes off and everything. Oh, it's started to rain. And I really like these cocktails. <laughs> oh, woo! Hey, yeah, can we have the same again, please, Eva? Yeah. Can I have an orange juice, please? And keep them coming. Yeah, come on, <laughs> woo! Hey, Let's get oh. Same again for table four. Did you manage to have a look at the flat? Uh, yeah, OK. I'm not sure. Well, I know it's only a one bed, but we can get a sofa bed for guests. No, about us moving in together. We've only been going out a few weeks. Yeah, but like you said, it's cheaper for two. You're moving out, I'm moving out. I don't want to put any extra pressure on us. I don't want us to move in and then we're at each other's throats. Well, we wouldn't be. I am so easy to live with. Uh, sorry. You know, after living with my mum, I need some time on my own. Maybe uh, further down the line. Forget it. Eva! I'm glad you're here. Me too. You know what? If I had a dad like you growing up... Uh, well, it's uh, what your sister was saying about going about your life with calm and dignity. I know. I know, I've done no wrong, I just need to prove it. I'm not sure how you do that. It's your word against hers. I thank you, Royston, for everything. Uh, where, where, where are you going? This is just something that I need to do. I can't believe she's moving in with him. After what he did to Leanne. Oh, come on, love. It takes two to tangle. Anyway, keep your opinions to yourself. It's you getting her to this morning that's caused all this. So, uh, what does one wear for a teenage lesbian hen night? I'd plump for a smart trouser suit and top, and possibly bunches. Don't let him wind you up. <laughs> Shan and Sophie are two lovely young people who are making a lifetime commitment to each other. What I wear is neither here nor there. Well, what about you, Emily? Surely you must have something to say about them getting married in church? I do. If it's good enough for God, it's good enough for me. A teenage lesbians been blessed in church. My mother would be spinning in her grave if we'd not had her cremated. Says the woman who picks up strangers on cruises. Milton is a fine gentleman. He is extremely cultured. Mm, the, the Americans are known for it. <laughs> we did all so enjoy your banjo routine. Yeah, you're a modern-day George Formby. <laughs> <laughs> More like George Foreman. So what's the damage on the flat? Oh, please change the subject. Santa bring anything nice this year? Only an overdraft. It's about Tracy, an engagement ring. What about you? I want a very special gift that will keep on giving. Eva is moving out. Hallelujah. Oh, look, what's wrong? <laughs> Again. And I brought my new shoes on them flaming cobbles. Maybe next year, eh? All I'm saying is that playing a musical instrument is purely a technical skill. There's no talent involved. Well, I certainly couldn't play like Sylvia. Oh, a chimp could play like Sylvia in two weeks if it had opposable thumbs. Really? And do you play at all, Norris? Oh, well, you know, I've been known to tinkle the ivories. It's no Liberace, trust me. <laughs> Would you care to make this more interesting? I'm not sure that's possible. In what way? First to play a designated tune, note perfect, wins £50. 
You can't back down from that now, Norris. Go on, Norris. You can take her. Uh, where have you been? Why haven't you been answering your phone? Shan's in bits here. Hey, what's up? What's wrong? It's my dad. <laughs> His text saying they don't want to come to the wedding. <laughs> and that my grand and grandma don't want to come because they'd be in Paris. Babe, come here. It's OK. We can get married without them. <laughs> oh, babe, it's my wedding day. How can I get married without my dad there? <laughs> Look, if you want to postpone or whatever till, I don't know, till you've had a chance to speak to her, I understand. You see, I'd love to wear something like that. Yeah, they're all really nice. I just don't think I could handle all the wisecracks about me wearing white. Right. Well, I'll leave you to this fascinating wedding talk and I'll take Amy to her sleepover. Oh, cheers, Dad. Tracy. I know you're really excited, but this engagement, the wedding, you can't go through with it. Mum, will you stop? But what if Steve finds out? Becky's determined to prove you're a liar. Oh, look, will you shut up? Nothing is going to go wrong, OK? It's that mad cow's word against mine. And the way she's been behaving lately, no one's going to believe a single word that comes out of her mouth. Mrs. McDonald. Yeah, um, I come here to report a crime. An assault, actually, a serious one. Yeah, the desk sergeant said. And you're the victim? Oh, no, no, no. No. I'm the one that's done it. Only you're not the victim, you're the one that carried it out. Yeah, only I didn't do it. Do you realise it's an offence to waste police time? Yeah. I am not one of the med cases what goes around making stuff up, right? Trust me, I do not want to be here. So why are you here, then? Because someone is accusing me of killing two unborn babies. And if you don't do something about it, I will. OK. Let's start from the beginning, shall we? Shan, I said what I said because I care about us. Oh, right, so you care about us that much that you're willing to call things off. You're twisting my words there. Yeah, well, you're bending me head. Well, maybe it is not a bad idea to wait. Maybe it's better. Better for who? For you. It gives you a chance to speak to your dad and persuade him to come to the wedding. And how long are we supposed to wait for that, Soph? A month? <sighs> Six months, because he might never change his mind. I don't even know, Shan. Yeah, well, I do. <sighs> You're more important to me than him right now, and if he can't accept me for who I am, then it's his loss. Yeah, but at the end of the day, he is still your dad. I don't care. The only people I want at that church is you and my mum, right? Well, obviously, we're going to be there. Right, well, it's sorted then. Fine. Why are we still arguing? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I like that. This is a missing. Oh. Talk about timing. <laughs> sure you're ready for this? I am now. We're not the first, are we? No, no, there's like we've got more to come. Oh. No, Banana Rama have not reformed. <laughs> We're here for the hen party. <laughs> this is for you and Shan. Thank Thanks, you. sweetie. You shouldn't have. You're saying that and you haven't even seen it. <laughs> <laughs> come on, Rita, I'll get you a drink. Thank you. So? Everything all right? Yeah. Thanks, Anita. Good. Oh, uh, it's just the one bottle. I hope your mum doesn't mind. <laughs> Thank you. OK, drink it. Babe, you know, it's not too late to change if you want to. Rosa, I am keeping this on. No, I'm just no. saying... Sorry. Where was I? Oh, yeah, so we had a row. Mm -hmm. And then she made to go downstairs, but she stopped. It was like she was going to faint or something. And then she fell. And now she's going around telling everyone that I pushed her. It's a rather extreme allegation for Miss Barlow to make, don't you think? Yeah, well, I'll try being on the receiving end, love. But why would she do it? She hates me. 
I hate her. She's always had her eye on me ex. Oh, I've just found out she's got engaged to. Even so, to accuse you of something like that. Well, no matter what's gone on, she has still lost them babies. Maybe she's just trying to lash out or offload a bit of pain on someone else. Yeah, and guess what happened to be there? Right, so what happens now? Well, I've just got to get a few more details from you and then you're free to go. And the minute I'm out the door, that lot goes in the bin. Yeah, I get it. I don't think you do. As soon as I finish up here, I'm going to go and pay Miss Barlow a visit. What do you mean? Do you believe me? Let's just say I'd like to hear her side of the story. You know, um... Never thought I'd say this to one of y'all lot, but, uh Some afternoons we'd sit together on the deck of the ship just as the sun was setting and we'd watch the light dancing on the waves and then Milton would lean into me, give me a little wink and out would come his you banjo. <laughs> oh, he'd be at it for hours sometimes, serenading me till there was just us and the stars in the sky. Sounds like a dream, a daydream. A fine-looking woman like yourself, Sylvia. It's only a matter of time before someone came along and snatched you up. I just wasn't fast enough. Before. Oh, perhaps you didn't have big enough hands. Talking of which, I'll go and see if Norris needs any help. You look thoughtful. Uh, yeah, that'll be because I'm thinking. About your bet with Sylvia? Well, I, for one, can't wait to see the smile wiped off her face when your fingers work their magic across the keyboard. Well, you might have a long wait. What do you mean? Not exactly Richard Clayderman. <laughs> Who is? <laughs> you don't understand. I can only play two things on the piano, and I don't play them very well. But you told Sylvia that you could... I lied just to shut her up. You can't back out now. You'll be humiliated, vilified, a laughing stuff. I get the message. So what are you going to do? I have absolutely no idea. So would you like it, then? Oh, I love it. It is so big, I'm having trouble lifting my glass. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not. I'm ready for another. Uh, Ma'am, don't you think you should pace yourself? I'll pretend I didn't hear that. Well, I'm all right. Seems a bit tense. Yeah, it's just the festivities. Too much excitement for her. Tell us what you want. Are you hungry? Are you tired, eh? Are you just really, really angry at us? Hope's asleep. Oh, one down. Where's Gary? He's gone home. He said he couldn't stand the noise anymore. I always think it's mad how something that small can be so loud. Don't smell so bad. That's not him. I've just changed him. Well, even he couldn't have done another one that quickly. So what's that then? Oh no. He's about a pizza, mate. Oh. You're going to answer that? Well, what if it's Katie? She's going to hear him crying and think I'm not coping. Are well, you not? What am I going to do? Give him here a minute. Cheers. Oh. Hiya. Well, I thought you'd be watching the film by now. The Bistro. You're not drinking, are you? Okay, just checking. You what? How's everything going here? Well, to tell you the truth, Katie, it's actually been pretty. pretty great. Crying. No, that was just something on the telly. Joseph's fast asleep. All right, see ya. So tell me, Emily, just how good a pianist is Norris, really? Oh. I, I've only heard him the once, and if I'm honest, I wasn't that impressed. Well, either he's been having lessons, and he's hiding his light under a bushel. Which doesn't sound like Norris. Or I'd say you're going to have a nice little Christmas bonus. Hiya. 
are you? What can I get you? Uh, nothing. I'm on duty. Oh, is there a problem? Oh, I hope not. I just need to ask you a couple of questions. Right. Oh. What are you doing there? I've just had an idea on how you can win your pet. Oh, God. I shall be your tutor. What? Well. All right, I know I'm a bit rusty, but I'm sure I can remember enough to inspire you. No, look, I, I, I appreciate the gesture, but I, I'm, I'm not sure... Well, I... I am. Oh, Norris, it'll be like the film The Piano. You can be Harvey Keitel, the savage brute with a tender core. I shall be Holly Hunter. Well, 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 wasn't she a mute? Your point being... Well, how are you going to teach me to play the piano if you can't talk? Music shall be our language, Norris. Music. Tracy Barlow? Yeah? Mind if I have a word? What about? We've received information that you've accused a Mrs Rebecca MacDonald of a serious assault. Assault? More like murder. Miss Barlow? What do you want me to say? Well, I need to know if the information's correct. I had a miscarriage. Which you allege Mrs MacDonald caused. Uh, yes, she pushed Tracy down a flight of steps. Uh, please, sir. No, I don't really want to talk about it. She's still very upset. Yeah, I understand that. But if an assault took place, I need to know why you didn't report it to the police. Well, if nobody reported it, then who told you what happened? I did. <laughs> Maybe more comfortable talking about this somewhere else. We could always go down the station. Uh, we've got nothing to add. It's here you should be talking to, not Tracy. I did. That's why I'm here. I, I don't understand. We all know what. I turned myself in at the cop shop. You admit that you did it. Keep up, Deirdre. I did it because she's going around telling everyone that I pushed her down them stairs, and I really want to hear her say it to this lot. So come on. I want to go home. Yeah, we will. Just, uh, just tell her what happened first. Yeah, come on, Tracy, tell her what happened first. You know what happened. Mm. If you want to report an assault, you need to make a statement. Ah, uh, now then, she's bottling it. Look, you have to do this. No. Steve's right. I said no! Why not? Because she's lying. Shut up, Becky. She knows it. Shut up! Well, then why won't she press charges? Because it won't bring my babies back. It won't bring our babies back! <laughs> Nothing will! <laughs> Tracy, wait! <laughs> Are you sparkle? I know. Yeah, but how did you do it? It's this thing I discovered when I used to try and get Liam to sleep. Oh, you didn't realise it worked on our babies. So what is it? Well, I get up close to him and I whisper in the ear. What, like, please shut up and go to sleep? That sort of thing. No, lines from my favourite films. Which ones? Well, that's a tricky bit. See, with Liam, it's anything from Kung Fu Panda, but Joseph didn't like that. What did he like? Blade Runner. Shall I go and get us another pizza? OK. Hang on a second. That doesn't make sense. What? Joseph's never seen Blade Runner. No, but I have. I've seen things you people wouldn't believe. <laughs> <laughs> so, you having a good time then, Rita? I am, though. Thank you, yeah. So, is this your first lesbian hand party then? I don't know. I rather think it is, yeah. Oi, what are you doing here? Nice to see you too. Save the attitude. I asked you a question. What is your problem? My problem is I don't want to see Sophie get hurt. Neither do I. She's a mare. Really? Then start acting like one. <laughs> Was that about me? <sighs> Who else? Well, has she changed her mind about being a bridesmaid? <sighs> I'm, I'm not sure. Sunita, you said you'd speak to her. Sophie, I'm not the one getting married. You are. Okay? So maybe you should talk to her. Right, OK. Right, can I get everybody's attention? <laughs> Come on, don't worry. I promise I won't embarrass you. Uh, I think it's too late for that, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> Although it's probably true that 
Well, Sophie and I haven't agreed on certain things recently. Probably. <laughs> and I wasn't exactly over the moon when she told me she was gay. Never mind, she wanted to get married. But the more I've got to know Sean and got used to the idea that my baby's growing up. Mm, kill me now, eh? <laughs> the prouder I am of her, of both of them. So, girls, I would just like you to join me in a toast to Sophie and Sean and a very happy future together. To Sophie, Sophie and Sean. Hey, pull that music back on now. Oh, that wasn't that bad then. You were very good, darling. Very good. Right, Come outside. Why? Call it an early wedding present. Are you going to sit there all night with a face like that? Why, what's wrong with you? You're scaring off the punters. Thanks, Mum. You're all heart. Look, I, I just don't think he's worth getting upset over, that's all. I like him. I can't help it. Yeah, well, don't cause a scene. I think we've had enough of those for one night. Why are we going to cause a scene? Because he's just walked through the door. What do you want? For him to see you? Yeah, well, I don't want to see you. Too late. I'll grow up. You grow up. But why don't you two go in the back and sort this out? It's better be good. Well, it's not every day you sympathise with Tracy Barlow. I don't. Oh, come on, don't tell me you believe everything Becky was saying. That girl may be capable of all sorts of things, but never that. The sad thing is that in these situations, everybody loses. And speaking of losers, you still haven't decided on a piece for the competition. Well, I, I didn't realise it was just down to me. No, it isn't. So why don't we decide on something now? Well, the thing is, Sylvia, I have decided. Uh, Norris has decided that I should choose the music he will play or indeed not play. Oh, you as manager, are you? I prefer Muse. Fine. What about on the sunny side of the street? I don't think so. Very well. What about... I can't give you anything but love, baby. Oh, I, I like that. <laughs> Boring. I have a feeling this could take a while. Yeah, stick it with one in here, look. Look, um, I don't mean to interfere, but that's the fourth you've had in an hour. I don't think getting blood is the answer. Darling, that ain't even touching the sides. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to have a go. I just couldn't act the thought of Becky getting away with what she did to you. Well, she won't. She'll have to live with her actions for the rest of her life. Excuse me. Yeah, look, maybe we should all go inside. It's freezing out here. Yeah, could you just give us a minute? Okay. Look, I'm sorry, I just... I couldn't do it. You've got nothing to be sorry for. Let you down. Look, none of this is your fault, OK? None of it. Look, whatever you want, make it quick. What's the matter? Don't you want to be seen with me? Um, but stop playing games. What do you want? Oh, that's rich, coming from you. And what's that supposed to mean? Nothing. You know what? Stuff this. I'm going. Wait. I didn't ask you out here to have a row. We used to be mates, didn't we? Yeah, we used to be. Why are you blaming me for what's gone wrong between you and Shan? There is nothing wrong with me and Shan. Swear on the Bible to that, would you? All right, then. Answer me this. What would you say if I told you I was in love with you? But you're not. What would you say? Well, I'd say... I say, why are you still trying to mess with my head, Amber? Because you're making a mistake, Marine Sean. Look, I don't get why you're still trying to do this. I don't get whether it's because you're jealous of me and Sean or because you hate me. I or... don't hate you, so. Just the opposite. Amber, stop it. Make me. What the hell's going on? Should have explained. Made it clearer. Yeah, you should have. Look, it's not like I don't like you. Oh, steady on, you left me in floods. <laughs> OK, look, I'm crazy about you. Just that we only started going out and it all felt a bit... Rushed. You see? You do understand me. Yeah, well, lucky for you, I'm a very understanding woman. <laughs> so, uh, do you forgive me? 
A little bit. Hey, you're pretty sexy when you're angry. Only when I'm angry. Always. Mm. Oh, I'm guessing you two have made up then. Yeah, you could say that. <clears throat> uh, okay, I better get back to work. See you tomorrow. Bye. So, what's happened? Well, he apologised. Told me he was mad about me. He just thinks it's too soon for us to live together. And you're happy with that, are you? Yeah. I thought you wanted to move in together. I do. And we will. He just doesn't know it yet. You just couldn't leave it alone, could you? You had to upset her. It wasn't like that. What was it like, then? I was just trying to prove to her why she shouldn't be marrying Sean. All right, and who should have been marrying? Eh? You? No one. Cos you're not ready. All right, didn't know you cared. There's only one person she cares about. Oh, I get it. This is all my fault. Evil Amber leading poor, innocent Sophie astray. Well, you know what? You're more of a fake than I thought. That's enough, Amber. Go home. Don't worry, I'm going. You OK? Yes, I need to run fine. Why wouldn't I be? Come on, Sophie. You're upset and you're worried. I know why. All I am worried about is letting Shan down and I'm not going to do that again. OK? Now just leave us alone, Sunita. So, where's your Jack tonight? My dad's looking after him. Mm. So you out for a late one, then? <laughs> no chance. Couple in here. Back to bed. Mm. Thought you'd be saying with Tracy tonight. Uh, she wanted to be left on her own, you know, get I wish she. OK. Mm. Considering. OK, I don't want in grief, all right? I just want to finish my drink and go. Well, what you do is all a favour and just skip to the last bit. I've tried doing you a favour. You what? She's lying to you, Steve. Oh, look, what happened tonight just proves that she is far too upset to talk about what you did to her. Just wake up, will you, please? Come on, she is a scheming, poisonous liar. Watch your mouth! Thing is with you, you just see what you want to see. Well, I'm certainly starting to see you for what you are. What's that, your business partner? No, scum! Well, even if I was, I still wouldn't change places with you, mate. Hiya, boys! Oh! oh. <laughs> Looks like someone's had a good time. <laughs> we should see the state of Anna and Izzy. Anyway, enough of that. How's my little man doing? It's not bad as it goes. We've just been chilling out and watching Sally, haven't we, pal? Yeah. I meant Joseph. He's fast asleep. Hope and all. Oh, I'm impressed. So you've not had any trouble, not with either of them all night? No, it's been a doddle. Yep, a double doddle. Oh, yeah? So how come there's half a dozen nappies in a charcoal coloured pizza in the bin? Hi. See ya. Bye. Bye. Right, make sure you get some sleep, OK? OK, and do not let Rose uh, keep you up all night gabbing. Sure, I'm not married yet, you know. You know. Yeah. I just wanted to look good for me in the morning, that is all. See you later. Bye. Tell your mum I said hello. I will. Sophie, can we talk? Look, Sunita, I haven't really got much to say, to be honest. Well, you can run away from me, but you can't run away from how you really feel. You don't have a clue how I really feel. Then tell me. All right, Sophie, how was your party? Yes, Dad, it was fine, thank you. Look, my mum needs help with the cleaning up. I'll see you later. What did they say? Nothing. So what was all that about, then? You best ask Sophie. Hey, listen, that's my daughter. And if something's upset her and you know what it is, tell me. Well, I'm not sure, but I think she's having second thoughts about the wedding. Why? Because of Amber. What are you still doing up? Couldn't sleep. Well, try counting sheep. Right now, I'm not sure I'll ever sleep again. Oh, ma'am, enough with the melodrama. Oh, Tracy, I'm at my wit's end here. And you think this is easy for me? No, of course not. I just don't know how you expect me just to, to keep quiet. Because you've got no choice, and neither have I. 
Ma'am, listen. This isn't about just me and you anymore. Now that the police are involved, if they find out what's going on, it's not just Steve that I'm in danger of losing. How do you mean? Well, what if they decide to put me in jail again? I could lose Amy. But they, they wouldn't do that, not if you told them the truth. And are you willing to bet your life on it? Because that is what you're asking me to do. I'm not going back there again, ma'am. I can't. So I am asking you now. Are you going to stand by me or not? Of course I am. <sighs> Let me mother, aren't I? I need your help, sir. But of course. I don't believe it was a coincidence. But all of these clocks, they spell exactly the same time. Why were they all set to 13 minutes past four? It is a puzzle. Agatha Christie's Poirot is on the case next tonight here on ITV1.